guy. Look at him. Look at him. He's got his dad's looks and his mom's braids. Like the returning characters from that 70s show don't understand a crucial point about Jay Kelso's introduction in that 90s show. The first season of that 90s show centers on the new group of teenagers in Point Place during the summer of 1995, as Eric and Donna's adolescent daughter Leah Foreman develops friendships with Red and Kitty's next-door neighbors and their friends. Due to the fact that Leah's love interest Jay Kelso is the son of enduring characters Jackie Burkhardt and Michael Kelso, one of the new members of her group also has a similar link to that 70s show. That 90s show season one reveals that Jay and Leah didn't know one another before the summer of 1995, with Eric's father Red and mother Kitty also having no idea who he was. When Jay first introduces himself to Red and Kitty in that 90s show's pilot, he clarifies that his last name is Kelso, which immediately shocks Red. Michael and Jackie soon walk in to confirm that Jay is their son, which is even more surprising news to the foremans. While Jay's connection to Jackie and Michael is a great way to continue the original character's legacy in that 90s show, his first encounter with the foremans doesn't align with his parents' backstory or the town's reputation. Jay being a Kelso shouldn't have surprised the Foreman family in that 90s show. There's no way Kitty wouldn't have heard about Jay, unless Jackie and Kelso briefly departed Point Place, after learning Jackie was expecting. The Foreman family should have been aware of Jackie's decision to leave Fez, marry Michael, and have a son with him, since they had grown quite close during the final several seasons of that 70s show. It is implausible that they would have gone 15 years without running into one another at weddings or other occasions, and not bringing up their child or marriage. Given that Jackie was Donna's best friend, and Michael was one of Eric's best friends, even if they had for some reason broken off contact after that 70s show season 8, Kitty mentions in that 90s show, that Point Place is a very small town and she has eyes everywhere. This makes it odd that Kitty wouldn't have known that her neighbors and Eric's best friends were married with a son. That 90s show suggests that Jay has been living with the remarried Jackie and Michael in Point Place all his life. So it's illogical that the Foreman family, at least Donna and Eric, wouldn't have discovered Jay's true parentage over the past 15 years. Why didn't Jay and Leah already know each other? The fact that Leah and Jay had never met before that 90s show's pilot is even more stunning than Red and Kitty, not knowing that Jay was Kelso's son. Jackie and Donna would have been expecting and raising infants around the same time, so it's impossible to believe they wouldn't have bonded deeper over this experience, despite the fact that the chronology of that 70s show and that 90s show are notoriously messed up. There is no obvious reason why Eric and Donna wouldn't have reconnected with Kelso. Jackie, and Jay at least once, given that they still reside in the same town, as revealed in that 90s show, when they visit Point Place with 15-year-old Leah for the holidays, Jay and Leah being strangers borders on being unexplainable. Unless Donna and Eric had a major fallout with Jackie and Kelso, Donna was shocked that Leah was dating a Kelso in that 90s show's ending implying that not even she knew about Jackie and Michael's son. Since Leah mentions that Eric often talks about how much fun he had with his friends as a teenager, it's far more likely that their families would have kept in touch. With so many contradictions, it seems Jay, Jackie, and Kelso's 15-year disconnect from the Foreman family will remain an unsolved mystery in that 90s show.